Welcome to Sawdust and Cornbread. I'm Laura Lee. This is the first part of a series I'm going to be doing. You get to guess what the finished product will be. Each project is a different component of the finished project and they can be used as standalones too. The first component are these beautiful shabby chic corbels. So I'll be showing you how to do this today. Corbels are really helpful on their own. They're great architectural elements. You can use them all over your house. So let's get to it. I had a rough idea of how I wanted to begin the project. Unfortunately, there weren't any corbels in my home, so I had to go to a local thrift store. They had two beautiful corbels exactly the way I wanted, marked at $3.99 each. I paid for the corbels, brought them home, and then took a good look and decided I did not care for the spray-on finish that was currently on the corbels. I took a fine grade sandpaper and went to work removing all of that spray-on varnish. It came off very quickly and easily. I didn't have to apply much pressure at all. After everything was stripped from the two corbels, I actually liked the way it looked other than it had a bit more of a warm yellow hue than I cared for. So I decided to go ahead and use a faux finishing technique to add a chippy crackled white effect to the corbel. Alright, I have this piece sanded so now I'm going to add the glue. It's just regular school glue. And I don't want to put the paint on there right away. I want to wait and allow that to get a little bit tacky, to dry a little bit. I talk a lot about using a, a hair dryer to dry the paint and it's very satisfying. I love watching it dry because all the little cracks and fissures appear before your very eyes. But you don't want to do that with the glue because with glue, the outer layer, the surface, coat or the surface of the coat dries out faster than what's underneath. Basically you're painting the skin of a bubble. So you have to allow your glue to air dry. There's no shortcuts on that. 